Hey guys, uh, this is Piyush Jain and welcome back to my channel PG Analytics. In today's video, I will talk about how we can show week to date and previous week to date using the date field. So let's understand that I have connected here with the sample superstore. And first we have to understand what data we are getting from the sample superstore. So for that, I will track the order date. Here you can see we have four years of data from 2014 to 2017. I will convert this to exact date and convert to discrete. So we will see the data for all the different dates. Now drag the sales. Now, if you notice here, we have data from 2014 to 2017. So to show the WTD or week to date, we have to pick the current date. If you see the current date is 28th October 2022. And if we take that date as a current date, we cannot show the WTD because we do not have any data for current year. What we will do, we will take the current date from these four years. So I will write one calculations. Give it a name current date. Now. Today function will give you the current date that is 28th October 2022. I will just subtract 1996 dates on 1996 day. After subtracting this number of days, this calculation will return 11th May 2017. And we have the data of 2017. So if we consider current date is 11th May, we can show the data of week to date. Let me show you in the calendar. Twenty seventeen May eleventh May is on Thursday, and I will consider my week will start from Monday. That is from eighth of May till eleventh of May. So eleventh May twenty seventeen is the current date. Consider that is the date, current date, and we have to show the current week to date. That means we have to show the data from 8th of May to current date, that is 11th of May. Now, I will write another calculations to get the first date of current date, of current week, not current date, first date of current week. And that is 8th of May. I'm considering my week will start from Monday. So first date of current week is 8th of May. Let's write a calculation to achieve that. Date trunk week comma current date comma start of the week is Monday. Date trunk functions will return the first date of week. It will pick the current date and current date is giving 11th of May. If this is your current date, the first date of current week is, it should be 11th of 8th of May. Try these calculations. Convert to exact date. You will notice this calculation is giving 8th of May. Now we have the first date of current week as well as the last date of current week. Last date means the current date, that is 11th of May. Now we will compare this. If order date should be greater than equal to first date of current week and order date should be less than equal to current date, then show the sales else zero. This calculation will show you the date of current week. Give it a name, current week data. I will track this calculation in my first sheet. Convert to discrete. You will notice this is the current date column. And this will show the data from 11th May, uh, 8th of May. 2017 till current date, that is 11th of May. 
you will notice here it is showing the data from 8 to 11 right just compare it with our dates I'll just open the 2017 calendar, May. Current date is 11th. That is considering as a current date. Week is starting from 8th or it is starting from Monday. So current week will be from 8th to 11th. And we are getting only these three dates data because we don't have 10th of May, right? And we are getting the current week data. Now let's write another calculation to get the previous week data. Now, previous week is from 1st May till 7th May. Current week is about from 8th to 11th. Previous week is from 1st May till 7th May. Let's write a calculation. I will duplicate this calculation first date of current week added this first date of previous week what we can do this calculation date trunk is giving first date of current week I will subtract seven day minus seven comma date trunk now this calculation will return the first date of previous week to understand this first we have to understand the inner part date trunk this is giving the first date of current week that is 8th of may when you subtract minus 7 this will return the first date of previous week that is 1st of may 2017 let's check that will notice it is giving first date of previous week that is 1st May 2017. Now what we have to get it? We have to get last date of previous week that is 7th of May 2017. To achieve that I will just duplicate the same calculation. Give it a name last date of previous week from this calculation we are getting the first date of current week and if I just subtract minus one it will return the last date of previous week from this calculation we are getting 8th May 2017 first date of current week when we subtract one day it will return 7th May 2017. Let's check that. Correct. It is giving the 7th May and that is the last date of previous week. So we have the first date and last date of previous week. We can compare it with the order date. If order date is greater than equal to first date of previous week and order date should be less than equal to last date of previous week then show sales else zero this calculation will return the date of previous week drag this calculation in our previous sheet Convert to discrete, you will notice it is giving the data from 1st May till 7th May. For other dates, it is zero. Now we have two different calculations. One is giving the current week data. Second calculation is giving the previous week data. Now we can use this calculation. I'll create one view, category, drag current week data. Convert to line chart and previous week data. Convert to entire view and let's convert to dual axis. 
So we can easily compare current peak data with previous peak data. All right, I hope everyone has enjoyed the session. So if you have any comment in this, please let me know in the comment section. And thank you so much.